Hi everyone! I am going to do a watercolor. So I have my uh, watercolor paper ready. I have my paints all set up here. And what I'm going to do is just do a um, just a background, you know, because um, oh yeah, I have a surprise. I'm going to go on a little vacation. So guys, you're gonna be missing me for a little while. Sorry about that, but can't help it. So I was looking for um, a uh, place to stay, like I told you guys, for a long time. And uh, it took a while before I found something I really liked. But we found one. It's a really nice uh, little house. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, um, uh, later on I'm going to make another video and that's going to be on the computer and I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to go because uh, as you know I've got a good microphone now first the microphone didn't work but now it does so I can show you all kinds of stuff let's see what colors do we have uh huh this is a nice color and what I'm doing is just, um, it doesn't have to be anything because I'm going to be using um, sort of gel pens on it. So all I'm looking for is a little uh, sort of a background thing with a little bit of color in it. And that's the plan. Don't drip water on it. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember, but a while back, um, I did another uh, video about using pigments and that's what I'm using now this blue is pigments and making your own watercolor and this is the color I'm using and all you have to do is wet it and here it is really beautiful intense colors which I really like but here and there I want some more so that it, you know, sort of goes into together, that it is really sort of pretty. So that's going to be fun. Now, to make your own watercolor from pigments, a lot of you have been buying, of course, the pigments from Patty's or from um, the other one. Um, primary elements from color art and if you really you know haven't don't have an idea what you want to do with them you can also use them for watercolor and it's really easy and I'll show you how you mix it but this has to be a little bit bigger because we want some uh, also some calm spots in this because when you go over it with your um, with your jelly pens, you want something where you can, you know, do some centangle or something like that, or doodling or whatever you call it. Let's turn it around a bit. So this is just a very calm color. I see I have a little bit of grease going on here. Don't know how that happened, but because I just took this out of my watercolor pad so I'm not sure why that happens so we'll get another color this is a nice color too eh, maybe not I'll just get some other color when this dries and put that on top of it Okay, what we use to make our own watercolor is this. I'll show you um, up close. Let me see if I can get you into, uh, there it is. It's called a binding medium for mixing with pigment to make watercolor. And this is the brand, Senelier. And I'm sure you can buy it in the United States because um, I had someone else that uh, bought it and that worked out fine. So uh, 
then all you do is you mix your pigments or your, your glitter stuff, your micas, whatever you have, you mix it with that. And then you can you don't even have to put a, a lid on it because when it dries, it's just like those naps of watercolor you buy. So that's really easy. Let's see, we want some more turquoise. Let's put some water in there and come along here, maybe down here. I do find it strange that when I'm uh, doing uh, these intense colors that somehow they don't really show up that well on the screen because it's a little bit washed out. But when I look on my paper, it's much more colorful. So I don't know why that happens. Let's put some here. A little bit more of the green. Now I like what's happening here where it sort of, you know, goes into each other, the colors. That gives it some, uh, some really cute effects. Another one. Turn it around again. See, the only thing that I usually do, but I, I did this on the fly because um, I was thinking, you know, I just want to take along something with me so I can use my um, the, uh, the jelly uh, pens. But usually I would uh, stretch this paper and, you know, tape it from all four sides just to make sure that it doesn't warp like it's doing now. Because when you're working with watercolor, you don't want the paper to warp like this. Because then, as you can see down here, all the paint is uh, is bunching up against the side, and that makes it just a little bit less appealing down here. But we can take that off in a bit. Okay, then we need a little bit more of this. And I'd like it to be really intense. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty intense. I think I just might switch to another brush because these aren't doing it for me. Brushes are something uh, for me really important because, um, and I've lost all my watercolor brushes. You know, usually I had these really expensive watercolor brushes and then my husband would just dig into my brushes and use them to touch, touch up a car or something like that. And then I could just throw them out until he heard that some of those brushes were like 40 euros then he stopped doing that then he must have thought "Ooh, that's not such a good idea to do now as you can see um, I'm just trying to make a really nice background but um, these pigments these homemade colors they also have the mica in them so they are somewhat, you know, shimmering. That that's really nice to use in one of these, uh, in one of these paintings. So there's a light shimmer all over the place, and that's something that I think just adds to uh, to the whole thing. There we go. And what you do is you make sure that you wet when it when you have these lines and they're dry. When you put your next line in, you have to make sure that you go over the dried up line a little bit because then it'll sort of morph into each other. That's a good thing. A little bit more of the green. I'm missing a little bit of green. So we'll be away for a week. We're uh, leaving tomorrow morning really early, around 6 in the morning. And our uh, boat leaves at 10.30 in the morning. But that was the only one left because you can't get into that, that house before, I think, something like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But it takes uh, about an, um, an hour to get there. 
and really it's really funny but I think I've told you guys that before but when you're there when you get in the boat you already see the island it's really like I don't know maybe less than a kilometer but because it's a sort of a protected nature thing the boat zigzags and you know has to zigzag because there's something that they have um, they've I don't know how you call it when they go you know take when they deepen the 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 route where the where the boat goes they deepen that and um, that's where the boat has to follow its path that's kind of nice with this color on top of it I kind of like that okay so the that's where the boat has to go but it's you know a long way it zigzags all over the place when I'm thinking you know just go straight ahead but they can't because the depth of the boat so that that's not gonna happen I'm gonna put one more up here I sort of like that green coming in <clears throat> then a little bit more of the um, I'm not sure I don't think Dick Blick um, uh, ordered these these watercolors from Vallejo these are uh, really intense and I really like the uh, the colors but I don't think he uh, he imported them to the uh, United States I did have um, a patty I think yeah I, I can't re I'm so bad with names but patty she bought some I sent them to her but that was pretty expensive because you know the shipping is a killer Okay, this is drying up nicely. Make it a little bit bigger so that it will do something. There we go. That's sort of looking uh, like I was hoping for. Only up here it needs a little bit more blue, but I'm going to go over it once it's dry. You just have to wait a bit. I'll go over that with, oh, that's nice, look at that, how it's, you know, sort of morphing into each other, I like that. But I do want a blue on top of this, because that's just a little bit too, there we go, just morph it into each other. And you can see where there's black on the, uh, on the, where I paint over black, then you can see the, uh, the beautiful mica coming in. You can see it better on black than on white. And one more up here, like that. So, that's a kind of what I was looking for. I see the nice shimmer in this one, down here, up here. So then I'm gonna come in and do stuff on top of it. That's gonna be cool. I'd really like a little bit more color. Nah, let's not do that. Just leave it. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna when you watch this video, um I think No, you'll see it tonight, I think. Yeah. You're gonna see it tonight. So um I'll be off to my island and I'm taking my drone. So I'm gonna make some beautiful videos uh flying over the beach and oh what's that <laughs> i wrecked my uh my brush i think so i'll be flying over the beach and i'll be looking for driftwood and shells and all kinds of stuff that might be on the uh on the beach and i'm gonna take you guys with me and i'll give you an, a nice little walkthrough of the little house we uh we rented but like I said, I'm going to give you another video because I, I promised uh, last week that I'd make a video about uh, how you search for certain videos on my channel because I get those questions a lot about can you show this, can you show that, but I've, I've done it, I've videoed it all before pretty much. This is the, uh, the watercolor. So uh, if you really want to uh, get into some of that stuff, um, the thing you'll have to do is uh, slip an email to uh, Dick Blick so that he can order some. Or maybe you have something similar that works like that. Who knows? Okay, guys. So I'll see you uh, in a bit in the next video, which I'll be making, where I'll show you exactly where I'm going to go. 
and uh, I'm wishing you all a really beautiful weekend and oh the good thing is that when I get back I'll be back next Saturday and uh, I have a week vacation after that so I'll be doing a lot of videos so don't be afraid you're gonna get your videos and I was planning on doing a bigger one where I uh, video it from up up high or sideways I'm not sure but I'm gonna be doing a big uh, a really big big piece more more like um emma lindstrom you know where you really dilute the uh the paint because i bought some really special medium to do that so that's what's going to be coming up next week well not next week the week after but you're going to get a lot of videos from me so don't don't be scared i'm not going away so love you all to pieces and see you in the next video Bye bye